Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This is a 12 minute deep core and pelvic floor workout to get a flat belly. All right, we're gonna go for each exercise for one full minute. Let's start. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna go up and we're gonna bridge march. Just like that. What you wanna do here is keep your bum up and core in and rest your arms at the sides. And don't forget to breathe. Alright, good stuff. Now you're gonna do the same thing but with your left leg only. So just like that. You're gonna bring it in and extend and bring it in using your core. You're gonna keep your bum up and core in. And remember, do not drop your leg. Keep it in the air, guys. Keep your leg in the air, good stuff. Bring that leg with your core. With your core, bring it in, good stuff. You also feel your booty burning on the right side. Keep it up guys, oh, alright, amazing job, now you can do the same thing in the left, I mean the right, alright, you want to bring the leg with your foot, keep your bum up and tuck your core in. Okay, amazing job, my friends. Okay, now we're gonna do leg extensions. So you're gonna go up and you're gonna extend your legs just like that. Now what you're gonna do here, you're gonna twist your torso just like this. When you extend your leg, you twist your torso. This really works those obliques and that waist. So it really helps to get a flat stomach. Keep it up. Don't give up, my friends. Trying to get you out of my head. I want to take back everything I said. Yeah. I wish I never got in your bed. You're gonna bring the legs back with your core. And you're gonna hold them when you extend with your core. Okay, stuff. All right, now we're gonna do, we're gonna give yourself a bit of a break. We're gonna go to a dead bug move. So arms up, knees bent, okay? And you're gonna extend your arms and your legs. 
So you're gonna bring your arms directly above you, just like that. And you're gonna bend your legs to the knees. And you're gonna extend the same arm as the leg. Now the further distance between your hands and your knees, the harder it is. Because you really have to work your core. Another important action, another important thing here is when you are uh, doing this move, make sure that your core is in, your belly is in, and your back is against the floor. So do not arch your back. Very important because then you're going to injure your back if you're going to do that. This is an amazing exercise but it also doesn't kill you. All right, my friends, let's go into our next move. So you're gonna go into booty lift. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring up, up, up. So what you wanna do here is make sure that you keep the rest of the body against the floor and you only bring up the booty up. So hips and bum up. And this really, really works that lower belly. Ooh, it really burns the lower belly. It's a controlled action. Again, slower with control is always better than faster and without control. You're doing great, my friends. Keep it up. Oh man, I feel my stomach burn. All right guys, keep it up. Stay with me, you're almost done. All right guys, now what you're gonna do is knee taps. So what you're gonna do is bend your knees, put your hands here and you're gonna extend. Extend, extend the legs. Extend. Just like that. This exercise really targets the lower belly and helps to tone the lower belly. Keep it up, stay with me, don't give up. You're almost done, my friends, you're almost done. Make sure you do not plop the legs on the ground. Bring the legs up with your core. Bring it up with your core. Keep the legs in the air. Leg in the air, just like that. Okay, good stuff. All right, next we're gonna go into booty lifts and leg raises. We're gonna do the same thing as before like this, but now you're gonna drop those legs and bring them up with your core. When you drop the legs, make sure you do not arch your back. All the work is done in the core with your stomach muscles. Whew. That's how you get that flutter stomach because you use it throughout this whole workout. Don't forget to breathe. If you want a challenge, you can do that. What I'm doing, you can bring the booty up quite a bit, Whew, that really makes it much harder. Oh, okay, good job my friends, you're almost done, stay with me. We're gonna do a bicycle now, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do this. Just like that. You can put your leg arms like this. You can lock them. Lock your hands like behind your head like that. Keep it up. You're doing great. 
gonna feel that core. If you, wanna, if you want a little bit more challenge, you can really go up more. Stay with me. This exercise really works your obliques to get that really nice, sexy 11 line look. Stay with me, almost there. Two more seconds. Okay, good stuff, my friends. We're almost done. Okay, so now we're gonna go into reverse paddles, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring everything up, your arms up, and then you're gonna reverse paddle. Now, if you reverse paddle at the bottom, it's more challenging because you really have to work the core more here. If it's up here, it's a little easier. So do whatever is more comfortable for you. If you want to challenge, do it at the bottom like this. If you want a little bit easier version, then do it a little bit higher. Here you still work your abs and your core, but it's just a little easier, okay? This really, really works at lower belly. Oh boy, really burns. <laughs> We're almost done, guys. You're doing so good. Stay with me, don't give up. That flat belly is waiting for you. Keep paddling. All right. Good stuff, okay. Now we're gonna be going into dives. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna do that. So you're just gonna dive with your legs. Similar action to reverse paddles, but you're just gonna dive the legs in. If you want an easier version, you can do it higher. Again, same idea as um, reverse uh, paddles. If you want it harder, you do it just slower. If you do it lower, it requires the core to work harder. Make sure you keep your back straight on the ground and not arch your back. Ooh, that's your core. Oh my God, my core is killing me. But stay with me, guys. We're almost there. We're almost there. Stay with me, don't give up. Ooh. We have only one exercise, I believe. After this, and you're done. And it's one of my favorite exercises, one of the most effective exercises. Okay. Oh my god. I found some fire. Okay, guys, let's flip. Alright. Now we're gonna go into hip twist. So you're gonna go on all fours, you're gonna go up on your tippy toes, and you're gonna twist. Yeah, baby, just like that. I tend to put this exercise in a lot of my workouts just because I love it so much and it's so effective for that waist, those obliques. Oh boy, that really works, those abs. Alright, stay with me, you're halfway there. Don't give up now. You're almost there. This was a 12 minute deep core and pelvic floor workout to get a flat belly. If you love this workout, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm in my video. And for a similar workout I think you will love, please uh, click on the end screen video. All right, it's another deep core workout with weights. All right, um, so for more workout, please hit the subscribe button below. And thank you so much for being here with me. I will see you next time.